here goes all right so California's up first whatever place has the power shut down that's where the the main um, attraction is going to be so this is this this is the setup for letting you know seriously getting some are you serious coffee because they're turning the power you better you better if you live in California you better put a pot of coffee on right now before they shut the power off I don't understand this one uh, let me I do it it goes along the lines of something like something like um, well there's a TV TV heaven coming down TV bombs and uh, California See, Russia will be bombed by Russia on the East Coast. North Korea, China from the West Coast, probably California, Florida, or even the Four Corners. Because we're going to hear about radiation. These nuclear bombs are going to hit us. Then once we see all this, they'll just turn off our power grid so we can't call anybody from any state any state including California that was bombed but this this state here is um, it's this state here is California and it's not going to be bombed but it's going to be the the because uh, I, I was thinking by 10 10 10 11 would be the volcanic eruption in Hawaii that causes the earthquakes that causes California to sink into the ocean. So if, if all of California's powers all first and anybody knows anybody in California, you know, you're not going to be able to get a hold of them to see what's really going on. What's really going on is they just straight up just cut the power grid. They just flick the switch off. So here we are at the point uh, where it was a warning two and a half years ago of just the, the fakeness. All the fakeness in the world. The TV bombs coming down from TV heaven, draining the swamp. That's what the theme is right now. America has always been first because we're first. It's deceptive truth. It means there's going to be a TV war with TV bombs coming down from TV heaven. And who has that kind of power? Well, just go to the, uh, the theaters and watch the best destructive war and action movie and ask yourself if you can tell the freaking difference between the real footage and special effects. So here's what you do. I mean, if anybody wants to know, you because the, the goal is for people to kill each other that's what they're that's what the the evil elite are planning and hoping that that's what happens but it doesn't work that way at all but it's all about the fear so if you if you uh isaiah 24 he who flees from the noise of the fear will fall into the pit and be taken in the snare because it's a trap. For the windows from heaven are open at this time because people are going to be, you know, when they're caught off guard and the foundations of the earth do shake. All right, so there's California. But it, I mean, it, it's Hawaii because of Hawaii first and then causing all the other earthquakes over here. And I'll give Stephen James to Sean. The credit for that one. I'm not saying I came up with the idea. He did. He's the one that came up with it. Because he's the one that wrote the script. Uh, so. The windows of heaven are going to be open. The foundations of the earth do shake. Isaiah 26.20. Come my people. Enter into your private rooms. Which is your temple. Your, your own brain. Go up there. Clear house. And make sure no fear enters into your into your temple. And no doubt either. So shut your doors. Hide yourself as it were for a little moment. 
It doesn't mean like hide under a bed or go hide in a bunker or anything like that. Hide for a little moment until the fury passes over. It's going to pass over. Are they going to turn their face against the fort of their own land? Yeah, of course. But don't you know that scripture is being fulfilled in front of your face? That they're going to stumble and fall and not be found? So in other words, don't fear the war but fear God and pray for your souls. Even if the war is real or not, their plan becomes real to eliminate the population. America first, then the rest of the world. But within a few days, God will put an end to it. So be patient. So here we are with California getting in the mix, starting it up. They just say they're, they're afraid of wildfires, so they're going to cut the power off in 28 of 60 counties. That's yeah. half the state of California. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense. Uh, because they're afraid of fire damages. Now, let me just say something about that. If, if electricity in the state of California is going to cause massive wildfires, then there's a problem with the infrastructure. There's a serious problem with the infrastructure. Uh, the answer is not just shutting people's power down. It's fixing the infrastructure. Where's the governor at? Matter of fact, in what could this be part of the Green New Deal in some ways? Green, like green little men? Um, anyway, in what could be the biggest implementation yet of a California strategy of shutting out power to prevent wildfires? And I think that they probably are concerned about wildfires because two years ago, remember, all these ten thousand homes burned down, and, and and these smart meters were blowing up. But they don't want to take a, they didn't want to take a responsibility for this. But we got a problem with the infrastructure. The system's broken in California. The, the power two system more days. is going to cause wildfires. It's broken. It's bad. It's faulty. It's it's ridiculous. Or is this climate change? Uh, in what could be or Green New Deal maybe? Uh, in what could be the biggest implementation yet of California? So then, when when New York goes under. It, they're going to do the same thing to you guys, whoever lives over there. They're going to cut the power. When the tsunami hits and you see the uh, holographic images from the, from the ocean coming at you, and then the aliens, like, they'll already cut the power on everybody, and, and they'll tell us that you just got wiped out by a tsunami. But as they cut, the, uh, as they cut your power and they tell us that story, then you'll see the alien show and everything in the sky, and it'll probably zap the water down because one image can zap another, and they can just er erase it, and you'll be amazed. And then um, over here in Philly, when the star hits the center of the city and wipes everything out, it's the same thing. They're just going to cut our power. They're going to blame it on the star. I mean, they're going to blame it on uh, ISIS or uh, North Korea, shooting out our EMP so they can pro probably tell us that here and they can probably tell you the same thing in New York and in California but right now they're just literally telling them that they're just shutting the power off uh, in what could be or Green New Deal maybe uh, in what could be the biggest implementation yet of California's strategy of shutting out power to prevent wildfires the state's largest utility announced that blackouts are possible later this week in large swaths of the San Francisco Bay Area and Northern California. Matter of fact, it's not just there. In large blackouts, they're coming. Exciting the potential for extremely dry air and steady winds up to 30 miles an hour with gusts that experts said could be twice that strong. Straight line winds. Nibiru, Mike from around the world, said this was going to happen. 40, 50, 60 mile an hour. Oh my goodness, that's crazy. He must be a true false prophet. Straight line winds. And with the famines and the, and the, and the droughts and the wildfires potential... Uh, but anyway, I think Nibiru, you got to look at Planet X. you got to look at this guy. Oh, yeah, understand. Planet X 2, uh, microphone 7, 5, 8, 8, and um, PIX, you know, PIX 2, 10, 10, of course, 10, 10 wins. And then uh, 2 also, second, whoa. And you got to look at this. We've never seen anything like this. Citing the potential for extremely dry air and steady winds of 30 miles an hour up to 60 miles an hour. Pacific Gas and Electric announced it was considering public safety power shutoff for 29 counties. Oh, and also California, whoever's over there, get ready for the alien invasion show because you're going to see it big time. When they start cutting off your power, 
is because they want you to get outside and look up into the air. Out of the 60 counties in California, this is unbelievable. Uh, today, Southern California Edison announced... Say goodbye to your Wi-Fi. <laughs> it, too, was considering preventive power outages. The utility said in advance of possibly strong Santa Ana winds. Power could be cut off to more than 106,000 customers in Southern California, but the power would be getting cut off to 800,000 customers from San Francisco to Northern California. Several years of devastating wildfires have sparked by down power lines have prompted utilities to shut down power during hot, dry, and windy conditions. Yeah, pump. I see. I think Philly gets hit first, but not devastating, right? And um, I mean, and then Cal California gets hit with this shut off the power, and the alien the aliens start to invade. And then um, up next will be New York, and because it's about the Liberty Bell, I mean, a, well, whatever, same thing, Statue of Liberty. So the two liberties, the statue and the bell, uh, are going down. So that's so Philly. To, I, Philly is third. California's first. New York's second. California's the first woe. New York's the second woe, and the third woe is Philadelphia. So that Philadelphia's last to have. Uh, the major, absolute, complete catastrophe of the annihilation of everything, and we're all dead, happens right here in Philly. So I guess I'm going to see if it's real or not. And I'm telling you that it ain't. They're just shutting down the power so they can start playing their miracle sky, uh, miracle signs and wonders in the sky. The alien invasion, the rapture, uh, it just everything that's that they planned is it's happening. It's it's almost the whole script is almost. Like, we're at the movie, the part where, I mean, it's a long-ass movie, but we're right towards the end. Like, it's it's about, the best part is being saved for last. It's like 90% done, the movie, and there's that 10% left, those, you know, like those 10 days left of the movie, because the scariest movie ever is going to happen. Cleck told you, 4, 3, 2, 1, uh, but he got up on the 7th of October, but he's also talking about three, two, one. I mean, one, two, three. Yeah, you know, it's a toss-up between ten, ten, and ten, eleven. But then when he's talking about Thursday disappearing, his cat, he's talking about himself. So he's gonna do that again. He's gonna disappear on Thursday, the tenth, and that's when all of this, this, you know, it's the big bang for the next twenty-one days. And then, um, but ten days later, it begins the real for the real twenty-one days. Just keep that in mind. Things are always prolonged. But this is a. Uh, this is the third. This is about the three woes: the first and the second, as Kleck was talking about the first and the second. So what does Kleck have? He has. He has the New York. Um, he's always been about the the tsunami in New York, and he's claiming he got it from the money. So he's going to claim responsibility for destroying man. He already said he's going to destroy man, the Lord God, because he's saying he is. So he has New York, and um, but I don't know what he has against California. I don't know if he did some kind of videos about it. But you know damn well that Stephen James Deshaun has a problem with the Church of Philadelphia. So you know that Steve is the 2-3 bypass, the, the third woe, and um, Jonathan Kleck there is the first and the second. So right now, Kleck is causing a win to pass by. <laughs> Uh, California, and and the, and the first woe is getting ready to take place. Ten ten, first woe. Ten ten wins because the competition was a forty day competition. I already won, uh, but they still have to play this out regardless, and that's the whole part of the getting punked. So it's a competition for forty days, and it's up in two days. That's why Cleck is doing so much of that. Everything is like a court case to him. Like he's just, it's all the final evidence he has. He's, he has his, uh, his closing statement, right? I mean, his closing argument. He already had his opening statement. Now it's his closing argument. And he's closing it up. And, um, and the first woe starts here in California. And then the second woe is the, the tsunami that wipes out New York. And then the third and final woe is going to be Philadelphia being destroyed. And that's when you'll hear that I died. Just know that I didn't. 
you know, I'll, I'll, I'll still be here. Just uh, waiting for the power shift to fully shift into gear, like the real gear.